Hi, this is Far Starter, and this is a review of the SH Free Art Cinco Choseo Camurado Tatoba 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 Combo. So this is the packaging. Um, not very. Uh, there's no big, huge difference uh, in terms of what it looks like with other SH figures, Cinco Choseo figures. But uh, you can see Camurado uh, O's right here. All the logos at the bottom. Camurado um, O's Tatoba Combo at the bottom of the uh, in both kanji and katakana and uh, what it looks like underneath as it regards it's a uh, figots and then camarado is on this side and also on this side and then at the back we have uh, cool features for SH Regards Camarado O's. So I'm very excited. Let's uh, compare this with the old one so uh, you will know what's the updates and what is new on the Shinko Choseo versus the first release. Bandai recently released the updated version of the SH Figures Kamurado O's Tatuba Combo for the Shinko Choseo line. As expected, the body is now more proportionate with a thicker torso and a more rounded head. Out of the box, just to let you know that the figure doesn't have metals slotted on the O's driver. I will discuss the metals in a bit. The set comes with 9 hands, 2 extra forearms for the claws, the Taka, Tora, Bata metals, O scanner, a picker for the metals on the O's driver, and his personal weapon on this form, the Meta Jariber. The O's medals aren't fitted on the figure when it comes out of the box so you do need to cut them out from the runner. Since the medals are too small, the picker does help in taking out of the O's driver. Four arms are replaced with the versions with the claws facing forward. These are longer than the ones as a default on the figure. The O's scanner slides on the holster quite snugly so that is a good update. The metal Jadaber has a moving handle but you can put the three silver medals in. As a replacement, a new slot with the medals will compensate this. The biggest gimmick is that the three halves of the figure are detachable which showcases that this new version will enable you to do combo changes. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison between the first version and the Shinko Chose version. Obviously this is the first and this is the, the SH Figure Arts Shinko Chose version. So um, there's a lot of improvement in terms of the uh, entire uh, mold for the body for Shinko Choseo and the lines are more prominent and crispier than the first version especially the reds the yellows are uh, better for Shinko Choseo and then the shoulder pads are different and uh, this is on a hinge now this is on a ball joint so it's a better uh, it hides better the joint inside and um, you can see here the lines are, are uh, seem more seamless aside from here and um, I didn't have this complaint before but uh, as you can see here um, it, the legs are now super loose other updates are the claws uh, this is more brownish uh, in in color but now we have a full yellow uh, pa uh, paint for the claws it doesn't retract uh, to, to the front um, you have a different version for that and then at the back um, there are cool updates as well and then as you can see the joints are more hidden on the Shinko Joseo version and uh, let's put him aside let's go through the quick articulation points and features for Camarade O's we have a head, neck and head articulation right here it can rotate 360 if you want to the shoulder pads I mentioned are on ball joints um, you have an upper bicep swivel right here and then we have a double jointed elbow a wrist joint upper torso and also waist um, as you can see you can really turn the waist 360 uh, that's a good thing and there's a gimmick right here that the O's driver uh, does go up and down like so it can only reach until this uh, we cannot really rotate the driver uh, 360 um, the uh, metal holder doesn't open and close so I, I hope I, I hope it did so I can put more metals inside and you know it's more lifelike if you will and then uh, or realistic realistic uh, the legs uh, you can do the splits if you want to and um, we have an upper thigh swivel a double jointed knee an ankle joint and a toe joint just to let you know guys that uh, my version has a defect my the foot on the right side uh, it's kind of warped so I think I need to heat it or put it in warm water to correct it um, I hope it is on my version and not on yours 
Uh, other than that, I do like the overall uh, updates for the Shinko Joseo line and I hope you like it too. If there were complaints, which I really didn't had one for the first release of Kamen Rider O's, I'm sure these have been corrected in Shinko Joseo. I'm super stoked that this version will allow you to create combo changes, which means you do not need to buy all those separate combinations as what Bandai has done years ago. The joints are tight, but I foresee some stress that will go on and losing the separation of the head, torso, and lower abdomen when one keeps on interchanging these for other combos. So so be careful about it. The set will also test your skills in removing the metals from the runner so make sure you use the proper tools so you will have the perfect fit when inserted on the driver. This didn't come though with Ang's head and the metals so that that is one of the advantages of the first release. And that is my review of the SH Figure's Kamen Rider O's Tatoba Combo in Shinko Choseo. If you want to know the post release for this figure do check out the photos at the end of the video and don't forget to like share this video and subscribe. Subscribe to the channel for more Shinkoto Seo reviews.